Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helped. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. Can't wait to see this grow. This works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Gotta take May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Peter, I'm so glad you can help. Clearly we've got a failure to thrive and we haven't yet been able to diagnose the reason. Can you sort it out for us? Thanks. These plants should be doing much better. Something's making them sick. All right, my little plant friends. What's got you feeling so sick? Let's see here. Let's see. Got it. Huh. Looks like this pathogen usually affects plants in the river. But fish are immune to it. I think I just found our cure. Let's splice some genes. With a little genetic engineering, I can make you guys immune to this pathogen just like these fish. Now I just need to get a cooperative sample. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Where are you? I promise you'll be back in the water in two shakes of a fin. This one won't work. Gotta catch another. Gotcha. Now to take a quick sample. Don't worry, buddy. This won't hurt. That's one slippery sample secured. Now to take it back and splice it with the plants. <gasps> you feeling better. We need to insert this fish gene. Let's see. If 
I splice this fish gene into your plant genes, I can give you guys immunity to this pathogen just like them. No, you can't understand me. But trust me, it's pretty cool. You're gonna make our community a whole lot healthier. Gotta get them all lined up. Okay. Beast should be able to work with these. Can't wait to see him thriving. You'll be feeling better in no time. Ugh. Dear, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Bee wolves, be gone. In the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. I'm like a be real estate agent. A real estate agent. the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you we'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. estate agent. A real estate agent. Bingo. You completed the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Jonah, it's a never... Hello, Peter. Welcome to the real-world trial for our ultra-efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real-world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. 
Your badge will grant you access. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Big apple in a nutshell. Ooh, concert happening today. Uh-huh. MJ and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! We got a little air on that one! Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check? not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. things blow up on me, but this would be my first bicycle. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. Together. Phew, that was a close one. The battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runoff. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. <laughs> plants are alive and quite hardy, but grow too slowly for food production. We want to hybridize them with a more productive variety and would welcome your help. Cassava plants growing too slowly, huh? Yes, you. A professor there just discovered a new variety that grows impressively fast. They'd make a great one. Their rare variety of the Asian cassava plant grows like crazy. They only need a single leaf to splice with ours. The professor is always looking for practical applications. She'll be super into doing a collab. Oh no. No. Someone stole the cassava? I've got to track down the thieves before they get too far. Maybe there are some traces of pollen still in the air. Got it. Glad this plant is a wind pollinator. It releases so much pollen, I can see the path they took. Now let's see where these pilfering plants went. There it is. A 
It's like a rock star plant with all that security. Definitely not trying to feed their community. That's gotta be him, right? Get your asses over here! It's on! We'll get him! Better uh, hope I don't get you. Uh, it's Spider-Man! Spider -Man. I've got something to plant! My fist in your face! I'll get you! He's throwing that thing! this plant for an experiment to help feed New York if that means anything to you. No? Really? What kind of plant is this? I think it's called the back to jail plant. He's up there! He's got something! Don't hurt yourself with that! What done now, Spider-Man? Won't get me with those whips. that plant. Couldn't have walked far. All right, buddy. One quick stop at feast, and then we'll get you back home. Glad we nipped this nefarious plant in the bud. See what I did there? Yeah, I knew you would. Wait, your name's not Audrey, is it? Parker, stop talking to the plant. Borrow a bit of your super special genetic material to help your cousins grow faster. Okay, so we want some extra growth genes from our guest plant. There he is! Huh? Oh no! You're not touching that! Oh, that plant must be really special to you! I did that machine thingy! In the air! Cut him down! So smart. Did I say that? We just followed you straight back here. Pretty dumb. Grab this, Spider-Man! Oh, Ooh! Hit him! again. This should create a cassava that grows more quickly without sacrificing the yield. This is some cutting-edge splicing tech they've developed. 
makes it possible to meet food supply challenges without sacrificing safety and transparency. Step by step, putting it together. This will give us an ideal cassava plant for this location. Secure in this workbench until ESU can buff up their greenhouse security. Feast will really be able to improve their crop yield with these new hybrids. Your battles. You learn how to tune it. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. <laughs> Here we go! Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Kabam! Such tiny turbines create so much energy. One more. There we go. Great. They're all happily launched. I'll just head back. The turbine's been compromised. What? How? Need to check on that. Giant bird robots attacking the turbine. Gotta stop them. You guys again! I really wish we'd stop meeting like this! Stay out of our way, and we won't have to! Oh, really? I'm in your way? Look out! Get him down! this turbine back in place there all up and running I should make sure dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these
lot of nesting boxes. Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and people, so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. The bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's Bee. Yes. Good. These are Queen's Bees, but not to be confused with Queen's Unidentified predator detected. Uh oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa, that bird. It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Neuropathy albicollis, the white throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real world mode. Cool. I can really encourage this bird to get going. If we can find out where it came from, we can see if there are others. done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. Hello, Peter. Let's do one last training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Gotcha! Another one down. Bullseye. Always nice to be flying around Brooklyn. Gotta love Prospect Park. Yes. Let's mark those nest sites. Got the bug? Yeah. Let's get it back to the garage. What? What just happened? Did someone steal the drone? I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if I can figure out where it went. Ugh, no sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. Better start checking out these garages. Fine. Just a little stunned. It's not really moving. Bingo. This is the place. Let's connect a video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode. Let's kill two bees with... Is that bug packing heat? What's it doing? 
Those fuzz must block. Be free. New contestants on. Look to the face. Your man. Look up, bro. Safety mode. Fly home. All right, guys. You gotta tell me. Bees? What? You never heard of niche markets? Yeah, but this is like niche, niche. No, we're not taking notes from a guy dressed. Spider-Man. A belated arrival. Get him! Come on, fellas. There has to be an easier way to make money. Uh, why do you even care about some bees? Do you know how many plants exist because of bees? They play a critical role in... You don't care? Not that much. Uh, 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 all of them. I'll definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees. Real or drone. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's over. this? Plants and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. Peter! <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. Genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us. Oh! 
One last thing. I got a little something for you. We're in good health. Love you.